What are your thoughts on esports as an industry? This is from Armani. I'm extremely bu bullish on it, Armani. Like, outrageously bullish on it. I think it's going to be, you know, for, it will be the second biggest sport in this country in 25 years. Like, I genuinely believe that. I just think esports is much bigger than people think. I hate when regular sports fans make fun of esports. They're like, Gary, you know, like, I'll go to a football game. I'm a big American football fan, as mentioned in my intro. Gary, what's this bull, you know, especially old timers, 53 year old Joe, let's call him. 53 year old Joe's like, Gary, what's this bullshit, this esports, fucking stupid. My kid's sitting in his fucking liver in the Fortnite, what the fuck? Did it? I'm like, I'm like, you're about to go in a stadium and watch men run into each other. And if we said that 100 years ago, we would have been laughed at. So, you know, people watch golf. <laughs> but like, it's a, by the way, I watch, it's interesting, but like, you watch somebody do a skill. People watch tennis, people watch rugby, people watch American football. People will watch people play video games. Good news, they already do. This is not Nostradamus, this is not guessing, this is not being so smart. There are stadiums in South Korea and America and all over the world that are selling out in four minutes for 40,000 people to watch kids play. It's culture. To me, video games and esports is very similar to hip hop. It's a new thing, but it's deeply ingrained and it's going absolutely nowhere. Do you see that it'll get to the point where the financial valuation from esports leagues or teams will actually exceed those of like the NBA and the NFL and et cetera? I think there's a potential that may happen. Now, I think there's fragmentation in esports that we don't see in the NBA. Like, basketball's humongous, but there's one NBA. American football is humongous, but there's one NFL. Baseball is humongous, but there's one MLB. Esports as a whole, like those video game playing competitively, is actually gonna be bigger than all three of those things, maybe combined. But there may be 39 titles and leagues that play out, which then may create the fact that they can never get to the value of those leagues. It's all gonna be on supply and demand. The reason the NBA and the NFL and the MLB are where they're at is because of the TV rights trickling down. The streaming rights have to get to such a number that that could happen. Um, and so, I can tell you this, I would be on the ground shocked and I can't wait to play these videos in 20 years and say that I was wrong if these franchises are not valued far greater than they are right now. This is a game of, do you understand which game is gonna be Zelda and Super Mario versus which game is gonna be Kid Icarus, right? Or even Mega Man, AKA for video game people. I had to decide that I thought that Call of Duty would be a game that people would play 21 years from now versus what happened to Doom. Got it? That's the bet. Nine, 11, 12, 13 years ago, I, Doom was Fortnite. Doom was Call of Duty. Doom was League of Legends, Overwatch. Doom's not winning right now. Uh, if Call of Duty isn't one of the biggest games in 16 years, this investment will lose. If it is an evergreen game, like a Zelda, you know, like, and I keep using that because Nintendo helps. Like, there's been titles that always transfer. When I was a kid, Kit Icarus was as big as Mario for that six months. That's the game I keep playing. Is it Mario, is it Kid Icarus? Yeah. The decision I went into Call of Duty is I've decided it's Mario. I win big if I'm right, I lose big if, I'm, if it's Kid Icarus. What are you looking at right now? What interests you? Where are you looking kind of trend-wise uh, the next 12 to 18 months? I'm, I'm very hot on uh, eSports. I think that Twitch reminds me a lot of MySpace. Let me explain. Not that they're similar or have similar outcomes. When MySpace sold, a lot of the VC people kind of said, well, that was the big social media exit. And they kind of got lazy to understand it was the first inning, not the end. And I think Twitch's billion dollar exit has a lot of people saying, well, that's that. And I think esports is just starting. I mean, when I think about where esports is 15 years from now, more people are watching the esports world championship match of the biggest game of the moment than are gonna watch everything but probably the Super Bowl. You know, I'm part of the generation where parents 
much like they're doing to the iPads and social media and phones now, demonized the shit out of video games and every kid that was on it was wasting their time and meanwhile, if those kids stayed the course, they would be making tens, hundreds, or millions of dollars at events today and oh, be wonderful. legends in esports. I think parents are very bad at a lot of things and I think one of the things they really struggle with is anticipating where the world's gonna be when their child is actually a grown up. They parent based on the past instead of the future. And to suppress, a, now when you have Buga winning $3 million at a Fortnite tournament, how is a parent walking around Earth right now not realizing at least giving their child a chance to show that they're great at video games is, is no different than them showing that they're great at rugby or proper soccer or golf. Like, we, mm. like I don't understand. The only thing I understand is that parent's mother or father or brother or sister or other parents are shitting on them for the amount of time they let their kid play video games and it is something that I wanna put pressure on because it is a fundamental mistake. Not every kid is gonna become a fucking gaming superstar, but showing your children that you support their interests is a very important forever win. Mm. People are extremely naive about where gaming is in our society. Like, esports is easily one of the top three sports in America in 15 years, with basketball and soccer being the other two that have the most upside, whereas football is stagnant even though it's America's passion, and hockey and baseball continue to decline. Dude, listen, esports is a beast. It's a monster. It just it's, it hasn't even started. Yeah. It hasn't even started. Everybody in this place right now, if you're like esports, esports, like yeah, some people, other people are like what? Yeah. There's not a soul in this hotel yeah. in a decade that's like what? What is that? Yeah. And by the way, I lived it. It was called social media. Yeah. Kids are not growing up with baseball cards like they did. There's new alternatives. Like everyone's like, well, it's a great summer night. Well, guess what? Do you know what every eight to 13 year old in America is doing on summer nights right now? They're staying inside and playing Fortnite. Boxing and horse racing were the most popular sports along with baseball in this country in 19, 20, 30, and 40. And guess what? Now we're in a digital world and that's who's gonna benefit, aka esports, aka things like the NBA that understand how to manipulate it. And you know who's gonna lose? Baseball. Third tier NBA players are getting famous and the biggest superstars in baseball are completely and utterly not known. I have a funny feeling if Major League Baseball had a culture where a 41 year old catcher could make $300,000 off the field because he's a personality that you would see things change systematically. Baseball's very good at not taking on accountability. It's time it does and they better move quickly because very quickly people are gonna be watching video game players throw swords at each other instead of baseballs and hitting with bats. Very quickly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's already happened. Now it's can they start the process of unwinding it.